So hello there. Today we're going to check out this Prescott wood router. I have never heard of this brand before, Prescott. This is my first time. I know it's a Chinese company. So I just bought this router for around 11,000 Kenya shillings, so all an equivalent of 110 US dollars. So let's check the box first before we get inside. So I can see here we have some extra bushings and also good to know that we have an extra set of carbon brushes that you can change on the motor during the lifetime of the router. We have a parallel guide over here and some other pieces. So let's get in the box. So this thing is heavy. I won't kid you. So I think that's the power cable with the British standard plug. That's the parallel guide. That's to attach the parallel guide and other accessories to the router. And here we have the I think the manual oh, and it's also heavy. This is the warranty certificate. Oh, and it also has all the other machines and tools that Prescott builds and sells. I wish all warrant cards should be like this. There's a lot I've not bought. Like I'm planning on buying these wire cap brushes for my for my grinder. So that, that's the warrant card. And that's the adapter plate for copying templates. I know it's a lot to get into if you're not used to. Those are the extra carbon brushes you saw in the box. That's the spanner for locking and unlocking the collet. If you're wondering, this is a collet. It's for locking the bits on the router. Yeah, I think that's the manual. It's even good, it has uh, an exploded view of all the parts and their names. So, those were the extra bushes and I also can see here an extra wing nut. This is the transparent cover, I think for when you want to mount this router on a table, you use that. And I think an extra parallel guide. So that's the router itself, nothing else in the box. So it's a 1500 watts or 1500 watts. And I can see the maximum bit you can insert is 12.7 millimeters diameter. And the uh, speed is 22,000 22, revolutions per minute. And that's having that. So, this is how the router looks like. You can see there, that's the direction of the rotation. So, the collet rotates like this. So on the other side, that's the spindle lock button. You usually press that button and you take your spanner, sorry for my wobbly table, and then you can lock and unlock. 
the collet. So that's where you insert your beads inside there. So let me give this a test run so that we I can continue. But first let me raise the height. So that's the switch over there. Down it's off, up it's on. This is the depth gauge and if you want to raise the height just open this nut I can see a very stiff spring inside yeah so let me plug this in real quick So I must warn you, these things are usually very loud. So here goes. So this is the front. This is what faces you when you're using when you are routing. You hold the handles like this and you route going like that. So if I had a piece of wood, you usually feed it from the left side, like this. Like that. Following the arrow. Also, you can also mount this router on a table. And the good thing is that it can stand upside down on its own. So that you can work on it. So the extra pieces usually inserted over here any side you want actually the other way so that you can insert the parallel like the parallel guide like this but you have to lock it With the wing nut we saw earlier, you have to lock it like this. So, this means you're going to route straight lines. So, before I go. Let me show you the bits. I bought a set of bits. So it's either, it's either sour or sour. I don't know. But it's a 12 piece set. And these are the bits. That's how they look like. You can remove one. They're usually very sharp. And this will create such a profile over there on the edge of the wood. Similarly, that's the bit and that's the profile that it will create on the wood. So the depth gauge is over here. Just press this button and you set your depth until where you want to root. And after you are rooting, you just let the router go up like that after you set the gauge you can either remove there are many uses of the router or maybe different methods but this is the lever down here it's the lever lever lock lock the height with this one like that it's, it locks one of the legs 
So that's everything. And you remember the extra bushes. These ones. Because the diameter of the collet is huge, you use an appropriate bush. Like that one. This is what you insert inside there. And you tighten using your spanner. You can see there's a big amount of play. So you just use an, a good collar. Also this one has some play. But if you check this one, it's a good fit. So thanks for watching. Uh, and I will use the press coat and I will comment how it went. It's not really for daily use, but it's a hobby. I've never used a router, so I took a risk and bought this press coat wood router. If you are wondering the model number, this is the model number over here, PT170201. So thanks for watching and goodbye.